Hey guys, Kathy Bullock here, and we are now on day number nine of our 66 day challenge. And we are going to go over creating custom smart plans. Now I am logged into agent.kw.com, and I'm going to come over here to my smart plans, which is the fourth applet down on the left hand side. Once I go into the applets, we just yesterday talked about the uh, how we bring our smart plans and then how we have the KW smart plans or other smart plans that people across the country have been creating and that you can bring in. Now what's nice is I can actually come out here and create my very own smart plan. So I'm now going to come here and hit create up in the right hand corner. It's going to ask me to give this a name. And I'm going to hit apply. You cannot have any two smart plans that are named the exact same. So we can see that here is my name up here in the left hand corner. And now I'm going to start building it from these things over here. Now you'll see that you can add steps um, to add a trigger. So typically what I like to do is bring in my first step. So I'm going to say make a call and when you have get when your pointer turns to a finger all you have to do is click on that particular widget and it will bring it in and you can see here. So now I'm also going to build a delay in there. Please note that it's noting how many days you have and how many touches and how many steps up here at the top. Now no smart plan can go longer than 90 days. It can have um, 15 to 20 steps. They're expanding that now and then depending on how many touches you are actually making within this plan. So now maybe I want to send an email. I'm going to set a delay and you'll always want to set a delay between these things because you cannot have back-to-back -back actions. You must have some type of a delay in there. I can now send um, a text message remembering that you must have your Twilio account set up for this feature to be able to work. If you do not have Twilio it will send you a reminder to send a text. Um, I can then set a delay, I can create a task, and then I can either restart the plan or I can add them to another plan. Okay, so let's go back up to the top and talk through how I would actually utilize these steps that we have put in here. Now on the make a call, I can come in here and you do have merge functions over here in both places. So I could actually say call and I can drop the merge function down and say first name, oops, last name, and their phone number. So what that's going to do is when it sends me my task to do for the day, it's going to tell me call Mickey Mouse at 1234567 So I have all of the information right there on my very home page and can make that phone call very quickly. So I could also come down in the task description and just say call to check in. Okay. Now I have set a delay and I can set this up to 30 days if I want to. Now maybe I want to send an email. So this could be my checking in email. And I can either type right here or I can actually come to the designs section and select a design and that's going to take me over to the email templates. So I could actually bring in any one of these um, emails and I can load. There's actually 72 of them out here. 
So when I decide to do that, I can actually click on one and it's going to take me over here. It's going to show me exactly what it looks like. And the really nice thing is that this is branded to you. So that pulls all of your information from your marketing profile. You can actually preview what it's going to look like. And I can X out of it. And if I wanted to change any of this information, that's very easy too. I can actually click in the box that I want to change, come up here to edit, and I can come over here and change any of this text. Hit done. It would change the text. I can then hit save and exit, and it's actually going to bring that email that I just did. I can change this low budget so now I have this email built in here so now it's going to ask me how long is the delay I can do another delay and now I'm on to my text so this is always going to come from the Twilio account that is connected I can come in here and say you know hello I can use my merge function, first name, just checking in with you. Of course, this would be customized to what you were wanting to do. I'm then going to add another delay. And now I'm going to create a task again. So I could now go call and use my merge function again, first name last name, phone number, okay? So I could then either um, add them, so I could either continue this on because I don't have all of the steps that I want, or I could then roll them into another smart plan. So I literally could roll them into this smart plan and I can hit save. Oh, so remember what I was saying, the smart plan can only go for 90 days. So if I were to remove this one, which is what these are down here at the bottom, I can either move this up, move this down, I can delete this function, and this is save. Okay? So I should be able to save now, seeing that I'm still at 90 days, over 90 days. Okay, so now I can save this, and I now have a new smart plan. And we will see my smart plan right here. So I hope you found this helpful. Come back tomorrow, and we're going to start adding our contacts to our smart plans. Make it a great day.